Hey, hey everybody. everybody! Welcome back to a State of Mind RI. Hi there, wherever there is. You look really big <laughs> right now. I do. Yeah, like that. Sit back a little bit. I don't know. No, there you go. No, see, like, we want to see. We want to see more of you. You just looked like. Hey, State of Mind. There's so RI. much to see. <laughs> there is. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm totally better. Um, so I have tested negative for COVID. Woo-hoo. Thank God. Yeah. I was beginning to feel like I was in quarantine again. Um, that was crazy. Yeah. It was, I want to say, almost going on three weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm negative and I'm out and about mm-hmm. and doing my thing again. So awesome. um, I'm just excited to see everybody and I'm it's super to excited to see you. Good to see um, you yeah. And so today, Heidi, I have a question for you. What? What are the steps that you think are necessary to get your house in order? to be sold. So there's so many things as we know. There are, so number one, I think the most important step is um, having the house inspected. And we talked about this before, but knowing what you're up against in terms of any repairs that are gonna have to be made. um, My frustration sometimes with sellers is that they're not willing to put the 500 to $600 up front Mm -hmm. to have their house inspected. What I can say to that is you're saving so much money in the long run by doing that because ultimately a buyer will come in and they'll find a list of things that could be worth thousands of dollars that they're going to ask to have repaired. Yeah. So you're actually saving money in the long run because then you disclose it up front. Right. So I would say that is number one. Okay. Um, decluttering, obviously. Of course. Is a big deal. And, you know. Nobody wants to walk into a hoarding situation. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> they don't. They don't. And that's, you know, the important thing, too, is don't shove everything into the closets, okay? That's what a lot of people would like. They'll walk in, they'll say, but it's all, it's clean. And so, you know, we all want to know what's behind the doors and how much space we have. And I've had buyers sort of run out of houses because... For sure. (laughs) Yeah, I get it. I get it. Hey, I'm guilty of it myself, but I'm not selling right now, so... Right. Well, there you go. Yeah. Um, What would you say your top thing would be for that? Um, Well, I think that um, curb appeal is really important. Mm -hmm. I have so many clients that um, will go up to a house and before they even step inside, they will have decided whether it's for them or not. Um, Or they've at least, um, they've decided whether it's a possibility. You know, and um, a lot of times the curb appeal isn't great and the inside of the house is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And I will have the... The criticism that I'll get back is no curb appeal. Right. Um, and uh, and I try to explain to people that it's, you know, curb appeal is something that is easy to um, rectify with some, you know, some creative gardening and um, cleaning things up generally, maybe painting the house. Mm-hmm. Um, these things are, are definitely 100% worth taking care of Absolutely. before you list yeah. your house. Absolutely. Yeah. And speaking of painting, I think for interiors, it's really important to patch up and paint all the walls and in, in a neutral color too. Yes. So as you're decluttering, as you're depersonalizing, I mean, people keep saying, you know, do we really need to get rid of family pictures? You know, the, the more you can depersonalize, the better. Um, totally agree. It doesn't, unfortunately, work for you to have your even your animal pictures. It you know it just it's got to be. A Some people don't sleep. like animals. Well, they also don't want to know that an animal lived there. Yeah. If they're allergic or if they have an aversion to it. Yeah. But, um, anyway. I got it. What else? Okay, I have a question. I have one question for you. Um, not to be contrary, but um, I always think if you um, have your house inspected before you list it. I completely understand and I agree with you that um, that um, you want to know what you're up against mm-hmm. uh, before somebody comes back to you with their inspection. What about the idea that if you have it inspected first, they find that inspector is going to find certain things that need to be remedied. Right. If the, the prospective buyer is then going to have their own inspection done. What if they come back with even more things? Well, then that's, it, that happens all the time, yeah. actually. Yeah. And sometimes the buyers will ask to see the previous inspection report. You know, it's, uh, you, 
you have to disclose it anyway. Right. But it's it's kind of like, okay, here we're going to give you a, a list of all the problems with the house. Well, yeah. if they've been remedied and you have paperwork saying it has been rem remedied by a certified whoever, yeah. um, then, you're, then you're fine. Right. But your inspector is, oh, any inspector is always going to find something else. Right. And hopefully they're really small because you've chosen a, a, an inspector that is worthy and reputable. And that's what... That's our job to help. Absolutely. Determine who is the best inspector for this property. So that really falls on all of us. You know, also, I just want to um, throw out there that I was working on a beautiful property um, last year, but the property had been owned by the same family for, I want to say, 50 years mm. or maybe even longer. And um, there were a lot of updates that needed to be made. We did have it inspected before, mm -hmm. and um, we made that inspection available to everyone now that family chose not to remedy all of the things that that right. we they came back with um that being said it was really powerful um as an agent selling the house to at least be able to address it oh absolutely and know what you're up against and know what absolutely. you're up against and say absolutely. in it's reflected yeah. in the price of this house that's exactly so right. you don't need to necessarily spend a ton of money that's right you don't. If it's a massive structural issue, absolutely right. yes. Or if it's termites, or if you have asbestos, yes. yeah. or if are lead issues. I mean, those are the things that that really need attention. But it's a powerful thing to be able to say, "Here's our list. Here's what here's what you're buying." And and right, the the price is adjusted accordingly. Yeah. So it is a very powerful thing. And it's powerful for agents. It's great for an agent to just yeah. know it. So so you and your agent are on the same page. Mm -hmm very important that's exactly right yeah that's exactly right yeah so what would you say would be the one thing to not do when you get your house ready oh gosh the one thing that i would not do i guess i wouldn't okay my this is this might sound crazy i wouldn't redo the kitchen and i wouldn't redo the bathrooms and the reason that i wouldn't do that hmm. is because so many people these days are moving into houses and it doesn't matter. You can put a chef's kitchen in. You can yeah. have the most over the top bathroom anybody's ever seen. It doesn't matter. The new owners are gonna want their own kitchen. They're going to want their own bathrooms. So especially primary bathroom. I definitely wouldn't change it. It's going to get changed again once Okay, the house. well wait, what if you have avocado? Avocado colored countertops. Then I think that you're just gonna have to go ahead and um, <laughs> rip those things off. <laughs> or no, or stand up and say, "Guess what? I chose to have avocado um, counters." Not that we know and, anybody like that. And here's the great thing: when you when you own your house, you can do anything you want to yes. it. So if you don't like those avocado, and also. I just want to point out that having <laughs> avocado, having avocado countertops is not a reason to buy a house and it's also not a reason not to buy a house. But I just want to say that if someone has avocado color countertops, I think you're redoing the entire kitchen anyway. You 100% so. are. And guess what? Probably you're going to redo the kitchen anyway. I don't even care if like and they, literally. And they likely have brown sinks in the bathroom. Well, you know what? Most definitely they do. But at the same time, it's okay. It's all going to get fine. changed. We don't no, need to be afraid fine. of it. It's, so, re it's reflected in the price. Right. So that definitely would be my don't change. Okay. Yeah. I know. And they're big things too. Right. But yeah. I have a couple actually. They're, okay. they're quick little ones. But don't attempt any renovations yourself. Oh, no. Don't, because definitely the results don't do that. Will speak for themselves. <laughs> and don't paint any rooms any bright wild colors that are your like that, no. that are your personality that you love like that even that dark library small little tiny totally. room you got to lighten it up. We just want lighten light, it light, up. light. Yeah. Right? I think that seeing a blank canvas is something that everybody wants to walk into. Yeah. Totally. Everybody wants to walk in, they want to see a white room that they Clean. can do that they, and they're, let their imagination run wild. Yeah. They can do. You know what? If they want to, if they want it to be bright orange, go for it. If you want, you know, your Scalamandre zebra right. wallpaper, go to town. Later on, after they've seen the white, right? What color is your living room? Oh, uh, okay. So my entire house, <laughs> <laughs> my house, my whole house is just one color. Oh, it is. And yep, my entire interior as well. It's um not not the um the moldings and the and the and the you know chair rails and the and the baseboards are all a sort of like a really beautiful um sort of 
a, uh, um, high gloss off white. Nice. But the yeah, but all of my um, my walls are I'm gonna say the exact same color as the walls in this place, yeah. which is a really soothing, um, easy color calming. that yeah that's calming. Everybody yeah. kind of like appreciates yeah, it. That's great. Yeah. How about yeah? What's your um, what's your favorite color? If you're if you're getting a house ready, is there do you have a go to color? Um, architectural white. Architect, well, it's my favorite. Can't argue with that. Yeah, it, and every room and every light source that hits the color, it hits the wall. It's it's um it's always clean, bright, and fresh. So yeah. And you know you can get that at Adler's Hardware. There you go. Street. Yes, we love Adler's Hard yes, we do. Hardware. It's a yeah. C two paint. It is color. It's yeah. wonderful. That's fabulous. Um, all right, so do you have a, a Rhode Island special thing that you want to let people know about? Okay, my special thing today is going to be the coolest store. Again, it's on Hope Street. Um, huge shout out to Hope Village. Yes. Um, it's called Frog and Toad. Oh, God. <laughs> you probably all know it already. Yeah. Um, you can pretty much find anything there from an Almax t-shirt to... Um, uh, Dolls Lemonade stickers yeah. to um, birthday cards. Um, you can literally find uh, anything there. It is so much fun to shop there. The people, um, Tess, who runs the place, is genius. Yeah. Uh, she is a beautiful friend of mine. And, um, yeah, and I love That's her. Nice. Yeah, she's Good. great. She's very cool. Good. Yeah. How about you? So this goes along with the theme of what we're talking about today and kind of getting your house ready and working on projects. And we both have, um, it's a favorite of both of ours, okay. a company called We Serve. <gasps> and wow. they are incredible. And they're these young guys, young women that come in and they help you with everything you possibly need to get your house. They will help you declutter. They'll help pack things up. They'll paint. They'll garden. They'll get your landscaping done. They'll do anything. They, they, they can do them. anything. They've moved me three times. They're amazing. So we're gonna we'll put a link under under the video to uh, be able to get in touch with them. But yeah. They're unbelievable, and um, they're just the nicest nicest group I've ever worked with. And um, I love also, them. don't even wait until you're getting your house ready. That's true. They will literally come yeah. over and repaint your shutters for you. Yeah. Yeah. For the spring, they will clean your gutters out. They yeah. will move everything. Yeah. They um. My mom at one point just wanted furniture moved around. Oh, really? Yeah. So just she to called see what her. it would look like. Yeah. Just so she calls oh up sir. Well, there you go. And guess what? They are the nicest people. Yeah. The nicest. Yeah. They will do everything. Most lovely people yeah. you've ever we met in them. your life. Cheers yeah. to them. Shout out to them. Yes, oh, absolutely. Love them. And to all of you. And yes. thanks for hanging with us. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great weekend. Have an amazing weekend. And we'll see you next week. Oh, are you going to the PPS event? Yes, of course I'm going to Providence Preservation Society is going to have the best party this Saturday night. And we are going, and I don't have my outfit with me right now, but it is going to be such a blast down at the Superman building. I'll be dressed as a white rabbit. Mm, me too. <laughs> <laughs> See you there, rabbit. Bye, guys. Bye.